Are you seriously watching porn by yourself? No! I'm with the science team! Hey, genius, get out of there. You're, you're really weak, my friend. Ow! They're eating him! Oh shit, he's actually probably dead. You know, I fucking forget that the shields exist. Shut up, phone. I think we set them up very specifically. Shut up, phone! What do we get? Ooh, something new! One day, maybe you will know the meaning of desperation in their faces when the roulette spins. This is not gonna be a fun one, I'm pretty damn sure. We're doing it anyway, because it's new, and I want something new to deal with. That's my instinct with every new thing we get. I mean, just take what, uh, my imme immediate reaction to getting a fucking teddy bear. Oh, fetus. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. This is, this is, this is already gonna be great. I can tell. All right, new boy. Oh. God fucking damn it. It breathes just like wall hugger. My god. Go get attached to it and die already. I don't care anymore. Hippie, you're on. Figure out what this fucking baby ass fuck is made of. Duty for today. That's your main job. Stop breathing in my ear. Just stop breathing. Please. That would be my preference. Okay, is this gonna be one of those ones where I have to, like, baby it all the time, or else we all die? Just like fucking grandma, except, you know, actually dangerous. Speaking of which, go say hi to grandma. Okay, I already have an idea of what this fucking thing's gimmick is. Fucking sack of shit. Alright, so now we might get dusk. We'll have to see. No! No! Actually, definitely no! Super no. I'm gonna go with a fucking singing machine. I'd rather that. Oh, I haven't seen Letitia in forever. Fuck you, Meat Lantern. I wanna see Letitia again. Letitia's cute. Max Ordeal Dusk. Oh, lovely. Do I actually wanna do it? Um, that's gonna be a struggle. Completely and utterly a struggle. Everyone's level five now. Pippi is just super extra level five. Pippi is my super trooper, so I'm sorry, Murray. Mary, you don't get it. No, I haven't. I haven't beaten the completed dusk mission yet. That's the one we're going for right now. Ah, uh, Grandma's lonely. Let's go. We're not gonna apologize to Grandma for that one. Actually, yeah, we'll just we'll just have Melendez apologize to Grandma in a moment. Not yet. Not yet. Once this is done and they've returned to their cell, their, uh, cell, cell, yeah, their office. It's totally not a prison. We're not an underground pr prison bunker. Toe, totally not. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Why would you insinuate as such? That is preposterous. Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, that's a fucking gun! Oh my god, it's- it looks like it's a good weapon, but it also sounds so supremely obnoxious. Oh no. Hey, Melendez, go finish it off. You're actually probably, you know, gonna hit the thing anytime this century. Or, you know, the- those dudes can do it. That- that can work just fine, too. Seems like the staff down here are all dead. He looks so you look so satisfied with being dead. He's just like, yes, finally! Oh, and it's you. Nope, nope, we're not doing that one. That's just straight up death. So we're taking that one too. Yeah, it's not a death I'd wish on even my worst enemies, dear lord. It'd be quick, but it'd be way too brutal. So if I recall Green Dusk correctly, it's like Two or three giant green robots with saw blades, right? Or maybe not saw blades, but giant green robots. Because green is always, like, robot-themed. Three to four robot spawners, all right. Um, I want to see how hard it is to kill them as a group. Uh, I don't want anybody to be forced to stand still like an idiot for a while, so... I want I want this to be quick. Whoever, whoever is working, I want them to work quick. So... Who is the absolute quickest time to work with Skullbro? Pippi, of course. 
We won't have Pippi for a moment, but it'll only be a moment, and that's sort of the point. We're gonna move as a squad and just deal. All right, so one, two, three, four. So they're robot spawners, you said, right? I may want to take care of the two right next to each other then. So I have to kill the machine. That sounded like some T-Pain ass auto-tuning bullshit. Did you hear that? That was actually pretty fucking hilarious, to be honest with you. Alright, they take increased black damage. Oh, they spawn them in bulk, don't they? Alright, this machine is basically dead. Good. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, they all do red damage, right? All of the machines are red damage. So that should make that easier. Right, we're gonna group everyone together in here and heal up. I'm, t I'm approaching this carefully. I'm not as worried about the interns as my own men. All right, I don't think the doubts are gonna be all too happy about the fact that we're breaking their house. Yep, there's one of them. This stuff should actually be doable at this rate. Oh, and we get the jolly music back even though it's still completely unfitting, good. All right. Kill these dudes. We have a couple of buzzsaw dudes. Everyone, everyone, we're going to go take care of this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move everyone to heal to healing in a moment. And then we'll go take care of the last one. I want to heal up everyone as much as possible. Because if I could get through this and still have everyone alive, that would be double great. Yeah, if I had anything like that, this would be hell. We've actually managed to keep enough of the perks, Kirk, clerks here alive to get that 10% buff. It's not going to be great, but... It... Alright, kill this doubt real quick. Kill that doubt real quick. Go get the spawner. Just ignore them, run past, go get the spawner itself. Yeah, the spawner will spawn things out to save itself, won't it? We should be able to take out all the guys down here and then heal. Ah, damn it. Oh well, I'm still going through. Must be like one more then. Oh yeah, there's another doubt down here. Granite, a Chardelon, and not aficionado. Rest, rip and pepistrami, my mans. There it is. Your final promotion is cadaver. Yep. <sighs> Till say the moon bewitch man, but in reality man despairs at the moon. The next part of this video is a long exposition dump with a bunch of major story spoilers. If you have any desire to play the game yourself, please skip to the following timestamp in the video. I'm imploring you, please do. Hello! I am busy. I still haven't finished even half of what's written in this notebook. I heard extraction experiments would be conducted. I saw the list of participants, but I was not able to find my name on it. Well, I mean, there's probably tons of reasons behind it, and maybe I'm not good enough for the experiment yet. Well, may I join the experiment as well? I learned a lot here. I'm very sure I can help in some way. I won't disappoint you. Hello, manager. It's sad not having enough talent, isn't it? If someone doesn't look back, what does that mean? Does not acknowledge you. Does not care about you at all. No need to analyze your action, as a conclusion was already made. Did you ever scrape the floor, writhing in pain? This cutscene, yes, I haven't gotten this far before. It sounds very painful. But actually, you feel nothing, even when you lose your fingernails. Stare at our lost fingernails, and just before you lose your consciousness, 
When you feel you are not yourself anymore, then you start to laugh really hard, even though it's not funny at all. And on the ground, someone's shadow looking down and the feet someone's shadow looking down and the feet were seen. Whose feet were those? When the person finally turned around, everything was over. Did you see the fragments of despair from there? No, but I've seen the fragments of the universe. Or were you staring at your fingernails on the floor? That was the exact moment I felt helplessness. Without you, I would have never known that f that feeling. Thank you. Then what about you, manager? Have you ever felt helplessness of not being able to control anything? When uncontrollable things rain down from somewhere that is not my body, the moment of helplessness of not being able to control yourself is an awful feeling. Please tell me, so I can feel rewarded a bit. Elijah was impatient. Her impatience caused common mistakes. She once went on a long, winding explanation of why she needed to finish the experiment, but she didn't remember. Whenever she said she is not authorized, I could see the strong desire in her eyes. She was obsessed, craving for it. The sound of her footsteps may make others turn around. Kogito was something that was not accessible without her, with her authority. The only thing she could do was to record the change of her subjects. She knew that Kogito was not ready for humans. When I realized what was going on, half of her teeth were gone, and... Kill me. Kill me. Well, that's fucking grim! Sleep by disruption of Sephiric. Sephiric core suppression required. Are you discovering the scars carved here? Manager, there is something I didn't tell you when we first met. Sephiris definitely wanted to meet you. They admired you and followed you. But at the same time, they wanted you to be swallowed up in the resentment and curses. So please be careful. To be honest, you don't have to pay much attention to it. All I am saying is you can go back to your normal daily routine. It's no big deal for me to cover empty spots if some Sephiris go mad. But then you will lose it forever. The seed that can sever the ties. Yes, Odd, do you feel nothing about this? Try drinking some Enkephalin. Close your eyes and open again. I'm glad you are not as weak as the other Sephiris. It's important to keep a clear head in any situation. Gabrielle, why are you scratching yourself like that? Seeing as we've met again, you must have completed your task, manager. I'd give you a compliment if I didn't have so much work to do. The information team has a work they must do on specific periods. You must have realized there are some blanks on the abnormality records. Among the tremendous amount of information we gather, there are some that are off-limits the um, to the employees for security reasons. The names of the employees are one of those information. All traces of them, what happened to them, their gruesome deaths, their desperate will to live, all of that has been stripped from the records under the pretext of expunging information. I do not know what the criteria are for stripping the records. That is decided by other departments, not us. We only manipulate the information we receive, per order. Isn't it funny? What we do is destroy or manipulate information, but somehow we are still called the Information Team. Whenever I am introduced as a Sephira of the Information Team, I sometimes feel something bubbling up inside me. Yes, Odd. Did you receive the documents to expunge? We'll get the employee list soon as well. Don't forget to be reviewed after you finish expunging the documents. Angela, what do you think it means to remember someone's name? Why are you so emotional today? Maybe names are like marks for atypical existences to distinguish themselves from others. Someone might have named you Angela, having the same thought. Yes, son? If you are too tired, take a break. I knew you would say that. Calling employees with their names is not recommended here. When employees enter the company, each one receives their own identification number. This is to allow the company to identify the minimum necessary information. We have their numbers in our data storage device. Malkith did not call employees by their names from the beginning. Maybe she is the most ideal Sephira among us all. I am not saying that it is appropriate for Malkith to take all the pain as well. None of us do. What kind of bad taste is that, to lock us into the metal body, and to make us repeat our days endlessly? I'm talking to you. What's with that blank expression? I heard you might be one of our designers. The only thing I could do here is remember a few names of the forgotten employees, and despair endlessly. 
feeling sick of even a single breath of air. Are you having fun watching your guinea pigs? See, I told you. The inside has been rotting for a long time. Gabrielle was more rational than anyone else. He was unmoved even after listening to what happened to Elijah. Some said he lacked empathy, but nobody knew he was festering in, in the inside. Maybe it started happening from long ago, ever since Carmen, the world. He slowly became expressionless. He did not allow himself to even have paltry joys. Good, he also could not stand having even a small part of his body being exposed. We'd made a monster that was not supposed to exist in this world. We came too far to go back. Ella! Ella, do you want to listen to the story with me, puppy girl? She didn't want to listen to this story with me. To not let what Elijah did go out to vain. Instead of taking time to grieve, everyone knew they needed to utilize this result to the fullest. He tried to remain level-headed, but his attempts became an obsession. He started to wear long sleeve shirts that also covered his neck. Not much later, he started to scratch himself harshly. We suggested he receive a checkup to see whether he was contaminated or infected, but he refused. Yeah, the game is getting super strict. Health checkups were needed to prevent further damage. Persuasion became compulsion, and compulsion led to the use of physical force. He was tied up for the checkup, but resisted so violently that it was hard for us to watch him. Eventually, it turned out that he was not infected at all. But was that really fortunate? No, it was not. He didn't get any better. He kept scratching himself so badly, even worse. When I saw him last, he was not cognizant to what anyone said and his body was covered in scratches. No body has seen him since then. Oh boy. That is hot. A very common side effect when you first take Enkephalin. It is like a light hallucination. It will disappear soon after two or three times, so don't worry too much. For me, an employee whose face had half melted crawled to me and shook me asking why I let her die. That was not a hallucination. Then what? Are you saying that dead employees are coming back to life? Unbelievable things happen here, so maybe it is possible for dead employees to come visiting as if nothing happened. It's not for me to say, but you don't look so good. Why don't you skip the meeting today? No, I can't. We have abnormality management training today. They need me. You're really something. I don't think there's another Sephira who cares about their employees like you do. Right? Look, Tiffany, I was right. I'm a good person. A good Safira. Hello, employees. Today we are... Are you still playing the good Safira? We will be performing abnormality management training today. How many times do I have to tell you? You are only a piece of sad scrap metal putting on a good person act. I want everyone to focus here. The abnormalities appearing today should be handled a little differently from other abnormalities. If you hope that would ease your conscience, that's very selfish. From now, I will explain the method I devised. Listen carefully. These other Saphirs admit that they are not perfect. Quiet! Oh, sorry. Where were we? But I have a question. Yes, what is it? Do you think this training makes any difference? Against that long bird, it seems those who di will die are going to die and those who will live will live. It's better than doing nothing, at least. We can prepare something rather than hopelessly waiting to die. I think it's just luck. We feel more comfortable to just prepare for death, accepting that we will die at any time while working. Just know this. You can't go to paradise, no matter what you do. I am doing these for all of you, even the counseling campaign I am doing. Oh, you mentioned it. Compulsory counseling campaign is too much. We would rather rest instead. Why is our department the only one which has these programs? It will keep repeating itself. Live with eternal sorrow and remorse in that middle scrap. I... All of you would be dead by now if I didn't help you. Aren't you thanking me? Do you want me to get rid of you like Malkuth even before you complain? Don't tell me I'm the bad one here. Oh boy, Hod. You finally admitting to your awful nature? Tiffany, why are you doing this to me? I am not Tiffany. Look at me. Do you not distinguish your own voice anymore? 
Yes, are you still having the nightmare? I read Michelle's suicidal article when our experiment was showing some progress. Michelle was the youngest among us. She was a timid and innocent employee. Made her an easy target. Maybe it was her fate to be used as a spy of the alert wing of or of the head. You didn't know it would happen. You never thought you would end us. You would have never believed that situation went worse than your intentions. You probably thought you did what you could do. That, in this world, there wasn't any other option. But Carmen was the person who was trying to change this world. The world you gave up to change. If we meet again in hell, will I forgive you then? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well! Sounds like everyone's having a wonderful time, Ella. Oh boy. This is getting heavy all of a sudden. The button won't sh show up if all severe episodes aren't cleared yet. Hello, dog. Conditions not met button will show up if you receive boss battle mission but didn't satisfy its conditions. You need to satisfy all conditions below to activate the boss battle button. When all conditions for boss battles are satisfied, boss battle button at the top left will be activated. If you click on the boss battle button, employees in that department will be unregistered and conditions to clear the boss battle and handicaps will be shown. After clicking the boss battle button, the previous start management button will be changed to suppress core button. Well, if we're gonna hate it, I'm gonna start with it.